Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu. Welcome to another episode of Learning Your Path in 5 Minutes. Today we'll talk, uh, we'll make a fast example in Excel. So the idea is like this, I have a table in Excel, I, know I want to search for a word and uh, sort the rows that have that word. For example, in this case, I will search for the row end in uh, this column and I will select the rows. And you see here that uh, this has end, this has end, this has end, and this has end. And the system was able to copy everything here. Now, if you want to work with, um, with um, normal Excel, you will see that I have here an, uh, an um, uh, I, I have here a formula and on this formula, uh, I can, uh, I can explain the formula. So basically you have a filter. So you have a search of the word end between, uh, between the, the data from here to here. Yeah. And uh, if contain this, um, uh, uh, this search function return a number, so I have to know that is a number. If I don't find the end, this will return something that is not a number. Yep. And then I will filter all the uh, I will filter all the uh, the uh, the the rows from A2 to B10. And where I find this number, that means I have the filter. So this is the way how you do it with uh, with the Excel formula. So the idea is like this: from your iPad, normally if you want to call a new um, Excel formula, you just put the um, Excel application scope and you write the cell and uh, you write the cell there and here you put your formula. Yeah, but be careful because the the new updates from Excel will add some at on your formula, so you can have some some issue. Be careful with this, but this is the solution with Excel formula. Now we'll go to the Excel uh, with the solution with um, um, with the raw approach from your iPad. So let's see here. So basically I have this stuff and let's see how we'll, we'll put everything here on this um, uh, table with the filter. And I will make a bonus, I will put, I will include also the condition for this end from French, yeah? So let's see how we'll do this uh, from mathematically from your iPad. So basically I will uh, use the iPad to read the Excel and say Excel application scope, read the data table from, from the sheet four. And then I will create a new data table. I define here a new data table, uh, which is new DT. And this is a new data table and I would say clone data table. So basically I have the same format of the first data table. And then I will say for each, for each data table, current row. And on the current row, I will make the, uh, the, the search of the, the data. I will say if current row first line to string, I will say to lower to be able to, uh, to avoid uh, issues. So when I compare strings, I prefer to put everything to lower, to upper, to to avoid issues and I will put everything to lower. And here I will search for end, yeah? To be fair, if I have a name that has end inside, so if I have a name, if, they, if I have end inside, for example, let's say that uh, uh, this one, instead of James, uh, instead, of, uh, instead of James here we have, uh, let's say that the name is like this, yeah? No, 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 instead we let James. And let's say that here, instead of Linda, it's like this, yeah? You see this one will add also Linda because we have the end inside, yeah? So to avoid this, inside of your iPad Studio, we'll put space and space, yeah? Because we know that it's on the middle and uh, we know that uh, there are two elements. And here also we'll say, you can have this or you can have also the, um, the French and this one, yeah? Again, we, if we can put it with space if we want and so on. So here we have multiple uh, multiple ways to uh, to work with, with our um, uh, conditions and special conditions, yeah? So let's put it uh, the, the condition like this. And we add here the row. So we add the row on the new table and to be able to add the row here, you have to put array current row item data um, item array because you are not able to copy paste the, the row from the uh, the other table because that the row is part of the other table so you have to uh, read the item array and put it on the new the new row and on the end we just write the we, we write the excel uh, the new data table on the result on the same excel yeah so i have this with this linda and so on so when i run it I will run the, um, the robot uh, with uh, on your iPad, and you will see that on the result, 
you can say that uh, see on the result that uh, he populate uh, here I have other uh, other all data. Okay. So here on the result, you can see that he copy only the end elements and this one also. So in this way, I avoid the Linda, the issue with the Linda, and I have also this one with the French end, yeah? So that's the idea how to filter the rows of the, uh, the Excel file using the UiPath and also using the formula from Excel. As usual, if you like my movies, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, and uh, comment on my movies and tell me what else you want to see inside of my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.